Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. Showtime. Round up the usual suspects. We take them really seriously. Guys, serious. You talking to me? You talking to me? I guess six. Six. Out of ten. You can't handle the truth. You can do it. It's all for you. Be serious. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to the vent. Pull over! Did you miss me? Ah! On three. We'll let each other go. All right. One, two, three. Now you're making me not be able to trust you. We got set up. We got to figure out who did this. Well, like we're working together? No, not like we're working. Yeah! Denzel Washington. Mark Wahlberg. Make it rain. Two guns. You kidnap a drug kingpin and you tied him up in my garage. You said I could drop by any time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vent. This week we're all about cool action and comedy, courtesy of Two Guns. You ever heard the saying, never rob a bank across from a diner that has the best donuts in three counties? That's not a saying. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I get what you're saying, Maybe you but it's not heard. a saying. It is a saying. Okay. It's a saying now. Actually, I really like this title, Two Guns. Very open and mysterious. It could be a title for like a Western or something, but thank goodness it's not. It's actually based on a graphic novel by Stephen Grant, which follows two partners in crime, Bobby and Stig, who are on the run after a botched attempt to infiltrate a drug cartel. Everybody sit down on the floor. Fire and roll! They come to learn that they are actually both undercover, one working for the DEA and the other working for the Navy. It's obviously a buddy cop movie and I did speak about this a few weeks back when I was talking about the heat. Pretty much the same thing, just as awesome. How much you figure? 40 million. 40 million dollars? But I got bad news for you. Now, buddy cop movies usually hinge on comedy created from tension between two different cops who don't get along, but they're forced to work together. It's pretty much the same idea here. We've got Denzel Washington's character, very uptight, cool guy, and then we have uh, Mark Wahlberg, who's much more uh, energetic and crazy, and they have to work together. The added component is the fact that they don't trust each other. What is that? Is that a badge in your hand? DEA. I did mention that this is based on a graphic novel with an age restriction of 16 for violence and language. So you can pretty much expect a lot of grit and a lot of edge in this movie. The man responsible, Balthazar Kamakur. He's done a lot of work uh, as a director, writer, producer, and unfortunately, I haven't seen any of his work, but I'll judge him on this. He does a top-notch job. Yeah. Of the CIA. So, how does Two Guns rank on a scale of one to bad boys? Pretty well, actually. Whether it's the action, the comedy. You want him? Come get him. Oh, man! What was I called for? Give me the keys. Or, point a pattern. Sure, you can trust this guy. Or whether you're a fan of Mr. Cool, Mr. Golden Smile, Denzel Washington, or Mark Wahlberg, ever charming, you will want to watch this movie. They really, really do bring this movie to life. And it was quite a risk to casting guys who are so different, such different acting styles and energy. And it actually pays off really nicely. Ah, all right, all right. On the count of three, we'll let each other go. All right. One, yeah. two, three. Now you're making me not be able to trust you. Now, some people might complain that this movie starts out as a comedy and becomes a thriller somewhere in the middle. And maybe there's too many plots, but what I have to say is, who cares? It's entertaining through and through. I give it a 7 out of 10. It's not going to go down as an all-time classic, but it does lay nice foundations for a possible franchise and more sequels where characters can be explored more in depth. Guys will obviously be more inclined to watch this, but ladies, give it a chance. You'll probably enjoy it.